my name is Amul and I manage UX and uh, product management for mobile apps at FreeCharge. And I just wanted to have a casual chat. So the points I've put out here are like in last 15 minutes, so don't kill me if I fail. And so I'll be talking about uh, mobile and getting mobile right. So the, the term is that mobile first, right? I, I'm not happy with the term. The term is mobile right. If you talk about web, it was all about accessibility. Devices could connect to web and they'll do stuff for you, right? That's why you see so many devices, variables coming, everything is connecting to web. So Shavik, as Shavik said, right, the first website was accessible. Now the thing about web is that it is all about unknowns. You don't know what browser the user is going to use, what size, screen size he has, or what is he going to do at your website, right? So the other side of the real situation is that business is all about knowns. Web is progressing. If you are using web as a platform to do business, you have to do business in knowns. So what is a known right now? Known is that mobile is growing. It is growing because people are using it a lot in terms of accessibility. They can get shit done and they love it, right? So let's just go through the knowns of mobile. So if I would talk about knowns, the first thing that comes to mind is just in time. People turn to mobile devices because at that point they want to do something. They have a device. If it can get that work done, they'll do it. It's simple math, right? Common sense. So when you're talking about just in time, it is very important to get the first UX right. Now, how do you get the UX right? Right? You get the basic hygiene out there. If a guy, let's talk about free charge. If the guy is coming to do their recharge, let him do the recharge. Let's not sell him everything else. Right? Let him complete the recharge and then you can do everything you want with it. You can figure out your monetization models. Second uh, thing would be get your work, workflows right. Workflows are not about getting the least number of steps. Sometimes adding an extra step can get the work done. Add that if you want. It is about the right workflow. Optimize. It is not about reducing the number of steps. Do that. That helps. But get it right. Second I would talk about is, uh, third I would talk about is touchable areas. Uh, many apps actually get touchable areas wrong. It is the basic fundamental because the only way of interacting with mobiles is touching them. So make sure their UIs are touchable. They, every every platform has a guideline for that and most of the people uh, according to many surveys use their thumbs so it is very important to get that right. I'm just giving you basic pointers that I've learned oh, in last two years designing for uh, mobile so they are casual. Uh, other thing that I would talk about is error states. There are things which go wrong and wrong is not a negative word. It's just an expectation mismatch. Your app is trying to do something, user wants something else. You thought this would work, user wants this thing. Right? Now, these are the best opportunities to convert your users. How many of you have a sign-in form in your product? How many? That's it? Come on guys, you all of you have sign-in forms. You're screwing us, I know. If you, if your user is trying to sign up with the email ID which already exists as an account, what do we say? In a sad state, we still say that, oops, oops, their account exists. Have you actually seen somebody actually switch, open the sign-in form, repopulate the email and say, please enter your password because we know we already have an account? Right? That's solving an error. Being action oriented. User knows that there is an error. You've told him that. He's also given him the action. What next action he should do next. Uh, last thing is notifications. Notification has grown a lot in last, uh, I think so, what I, I've, I've started seeing massive use of notification in the last one year. But some of the notifications are just, just don't do it for me. They just come, you read the text, you tap, nothing happens. It doesn't, just doesn't take you to any part of the app which is contextual, which is trying to communicate, here is a promo code, use it, the notification comes, I read it with other notifications, oh my god, I got an email from my dad, I have to transfer my money, forget the notification, I'm going to write this email now, right? So building that context is very important. If somebody is clicking on the notification, please land them to a section of an app which actually makes sense. The second known about uh, apps is context. Since it is just in time, the context of the user is very important. Now what gives you the context? Location, right? You can do so much with location. Think about new ways of using location. Time of the day. I am a different person in the evening because I am with my friends and I am a different person in office. Right? And trust me, I am. And, uh, okay, activity. New and uh, Google, Android, you have uh, Google Play services, APIs which let you know whether the guy is walking, running, cycling. And there are so many other examples of context. So. Get the context right. Think about the situation where the user is. He's just in time. Use that to your value and build something for that. Third thing that I want to talk about is uh, the known is 
last mile delivery. Now, responsive web, I, I just want to complete this point. A few ways are okay with this, or should I get down? I get down and speak. So last mile delivery. <laughs> and last mile delivery is all about uh, making use of mobile and making sure you get out of it. For example, if you're loading, uh, uh, doing a listing on eBay, if you want to upload pictures, you're done with the listing, but you can upload pictures from the app. You can go home and do it because it's a tedious task. So think about last mile delivery. That's it. Thank you, guys.